Welcome back to the channel and if you want to learn how to install Forge 1.20 to play with mods in Minecraft well you have come to the right video because I'm going to teach you how to install Forge 1.20 for Minecraft 1.20 and let's get started with the tutorial. Okay guys so step number one to downloading and installing Forge well it's obviously downloading Forge. For that we're going to click the second link in the description which will bring you to our written guide on how to download and install Forge. Now feel free to read through the guide and look at the screenshots and maybe this will help you but I'm assuming most of you just want to follow along the video. So what you're going to do once you're here in the guide you're going to scroll down until you see the button that says download. Go ahead and click on this button right here and that is going to redirect you to the official Forge website. However, once you're over here, you're going to see that you are not directly on the 1.20. You are actually on the 1.90. All we have to do is click on the top where it says plus 1.20. Click on that and then go ahead and click on 1.20 and that is going to select 1.20 for you. Now, once you're over here, you could go ahead and click on the installer. However, if you're watching this on the future, you might see something like 1.20.1 or 1.20.2. Just feel free to download the version of Forge that you need. In this tutorial is 1.20, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and click on installer. That is going to redirect you over here, where we're going to wait five seconds. Make sure you don't click anything, just wait five seconds. And then this button on the top will appear. It's a button label as a skip. As you can see, a button label as a skip appears. Go ahead and click on that button. And then that is going to start the download for Forge. Go ahead and accept the download if you have it set up like I do. If not, your file will probably download automatically. Once you have your file downloaded, it will show here on the little arrow if you're using Chrome or if you're using some other browser, it might show somewhere else. Whatever the case might be, just go ahead and drag and drop that file into your desktop. We actually have to wait. There we go. So now we have the Forge installer. Now, the next step that I will do in this tutorial is actually download a mod to try if Forge is working. You don't have to download a mod, but obviously if you're downloading Forge, you want mods, right? I'm assuming. So we're going to go ahead and download the journey map. If you want to download the same mod I'm using, go ahead and click on the third link in the description. If not, you can download whatever mods you prefer as long as they are compatible with Forge 1.20. In this case, we're gonna download Journey Map. Like I said, click on the third link in the description if you wanna follow along. Then go ahead and scroll down and click where it says Journey Map right here. This big button right here, go ahead and click on that. That is going to redirect you to the Journey Map website where you're going to scroll down until you find the 1.20 version for Forge. As you can see, it says Mod Loaders, it says Forge. And for the game version, it says 1.20. And to download it, just click on these little three dots and click where it says Download File. That is going to redirect you over here where in five seconds, the download will start automatically. Like I said, it's not required that you download uh, Journey Map. You can download whatever mods that you want, as long as they're compatible with Forge 1.20. We're just downloading Journey Map to test out Forge. And also Journey Map is a pretty useful mod. I mean, if you're playing Minecraft and you wanna have a mini map, this is the right mod for you. So let's go ahead and drag and drop Journey Map to the desktop. Okay guys, the next step will be installing Forge, but before we do, it's very, very important that you launch your Minecraft Vanilla 1.20 at least once on your computer. This is very important. I get a lot of comments a lot of the time saying that Forge didn't install. That is because you haven't launched your regular Vanilla Minecraft 1.20 once. All you have to do is go to your launcher, open the latest release once, okay? All you have to do is open it once, let it load. We're gonna wait for that to load in here. And once the game has completely opened and it has fully loaded, all you have to do is close the game and that's it. So as you can see, my Minecraft 1.20 has already opened. Now all you have to do is quit the game and that's it. Make sure you close the game and that you close the launcher after that. And then you are ready to install Forge. It's very important that you run Minecraft Vanilla at least once. Trust me, you don't wanna have any issues installing Forge. Now, just go ahead and double click on Forge. Now, if by any chance, when you double click on Forge, instead of getting the installer, you get something like a web browser or a notepad, or maybe you just get an error or this doesn't even open or it says open with something like that. That is because you have an outdated version of Java or maybe you don't even have a Java at all. Now we do have guides and I'm gonna leave those in the description on how to download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required for Forge 1.20 to work. Okay, that is very important. I'm gonna leave this guide in the description. It's very simple. All you have to do is download Java, following the photos in here, and then open the installer for Java, click next, 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 and then close it. And that's it. You have installed Java, and then you might have to run a jar fix after that. Running a jar fix is a three-step process. As you can see in here, it's actually a two-step process. All you have to do is download it, double click, and that's it. And running a jar fix will pretty much fix the issue that you're having with this after you install Java, because what jar fix does is pretty much that it updates these files in here to be linked to your new Java installation, okay? So remember, if you're having any issues opening this app, all you have to do is update Java to Java 17 if you have an outdated version, or if you don't have Java at all, just install Java 17, then run a jar fix, then try this again, okay? Now, once you're in here, in this screen where I'm at right here, all you have to do is click okay. 
select install client which will be selected automatically and then click ok and the installation for forge will start now what forge is installing i do have to let you know about today's sponsor apex hosting actually apex hosting has been like every day's sponsor and that is because apex hosting is a great service for those of you that want a server let's say that you want to create a server and use forge so your friends could join and have mods and all that type of things well apex hosting is here for you they will actually make that server for you so you don't even have to install forge or do any of the things that we're doing here they will actually do it for you now apex hosting has a lot of advantages as you can see in here but one of the things that i personally love about apex hosting is that you could actually access the server console through your phone so you don't even have to be at home to actually access your server you could kick people out you could change the settings all from your phone while being like a walmart shopping okay and also here's a little secret those of you that use the first link in the description will get 25 percent off your first server with apex hosting so yeah if you use the first link in the description, you get 25% off and a lot of advantages with Apex Hosting. And now let's get back to the tutorial. And as you can see, the installation for Forge 1.20 has finished. So all we have to do now is click OK. And we could even delete the installer for Forge and also this little text document that appears here. Now, all we have left is a mod, the journey map mod. And how do we add the mod to Forge? How do we even launch Forge app? Well, first open your Minecraft launcher, of course, go ahead and double click on that. As you can see, my launcher already open. And if you install Forge properly, you should actually see Forge automatically selected down here. So that is a great indicator that we install Forge properly and that we are good to play Forge. Anyways, if Forge is not showing there, maybe you have to go over here and make sure that modded is selected. If you don't have modded selected, Forge one showing here. So just make sure that you have modded selected. Also another way to fix the issue if Forge is not showing up, you could just click on new installation and look for Forge here on the version. Just look for Forge, as you can see, it's right here is the third one. Just click on Forge 1.20. You can name this whatever you want, right? And then create and you should have a Forge instance. As you can see, mine doesn't make sense, the name I gave it, but well, you get the point, right? So that is for those of you that maybe don't see Forge automatically selected. Anyways, I'm gonna delete this because I don't need it right now because my Forge is actually working because I follow the steps in this tutorial. Anyways, the next step in order to add mods to Forge, all we have to do is come over here to installations, hover over the Forge instance and click on this little folder. That is going to open a bigger folder with a lot of files, okay? I know there's a lot of files in here. Don't get confused. All you are doing is looking for one specific folder called mods, M-O-D-S. And that folder is right here, as you can see, that is my mods folder. But what happens if you don't have that mods folder? If you can't find it, don't worry. You could just create one. As you can see, I deleted mine. You could just right click, click new, and then type M-O-D-S, mods. And now you have a mods folder. So like I said, if that mods folder is not there, you could create one. Once you find that folder or create it, go ahead and open it. And now to add the mods, all we have to do is drag and drop it. And yes, before you ask, Forge is compatible with Optifine 1.20. So if you wanna play Optifine, but still play with mods, you could just drop your Optifine 1.20 into your Forge folder, okay? So now that we have journey mapping here, that we have a mod in here to try the game and see if Forge is working, all we have to do is close this folder, go back to our launcher and launch Forge. Then just click this little sign in here and then click play and I'll see you inside the game. Okay, so now that Forge has loaded, as you can see a great indicator that we are playing Forge is that it says Forge down here on the bottom left, right? So you can see Forge right here and it says Minecraft 1.20. Also it says Forge Bay down the top. That is probably because they're still messing with some things around. So if you have any crashes or anything like that, well, it is a Forge Beta, okay? But in the future, this will probably go away and you will have full Forge. Anyways, let's see if our mod is in the game. If we click in the mods area, we can see that journey map is actually here. So that's also also a good thing because that means journey map is in the game and now we're gonna test it all out by launching a world so why not try it on the one block let's just go ahead and launch the one block it should work in here as you can see it is working on the top now unfortunately the one block doesn't have many blocks so as you can see all it shows is the little blocks that i have placed in here right but obviously as you play and as you build more this will show more because yeah this is an updated as you can see, this is a map that constantly gets updated. Also, if you're trying this on a normal world, obviously the journey map will be like a huge thing. It wouldn't just be this dark, big circle in the corner. So as you can see, Forge is working, the mods are working. And by the way, if you wanna learn how to install this one block world, I'm gonna leave that video up right now. This is 1.20, so if you wanna play the one block, as you can see, this is the original one block on 1.20. Just watch that video next. It should, it should be right here, right? So just go watch it. Yeah, what are you waiting for? 